Whenever you visit a fertility clinic, the doctor usually asks you to come on the second or the third day of your period for a transvaginal ultrasound. This is done in order to assess your AFC or your antral follicle count. So hello, I'm Dr. Chwal Banker and today we'll be discussing this very important aspect of fertility assessment which is often overlooked. So if you are facing fertility challenges or you are trying to conceive, it is very crucial for you to understand this important test. In simple terms, AFC stands for antral follicle count. This is the total number of antral follicles, which are small fluid-filled sacs present in your ovaries, which can contain eggs. This test gives you a pretty good idea about the total number of eggs present in your ovaries and gives you a good picture about your fertility. These antral follicles are present at the beginning of your menstrual cycle and hence this transvaginal test is done on the second, third or the fourth day of your cycle. Now let's dive a bit deeper on why this test is that important. These antral follicles are tiny structures present in your ovaries and range from 2 to 10 mm in diameter. Using a transvaginal ultrasound, the total number of these antral follicles are counted from both the ovaries and this ultrasound gives you a number. This number is your antral follicle count. So for example, if you have 6 antral follicles in your left ovary and 7 in your right ovary, your antral follicle count is 13. So what does this AFC number actually mean for your fertility? A higher AFC means that you have a good number of viable eggs remaining in your ovaries, while a low AFC count suggests that you have fewer number of eggs present in your ovaries. And while there isn't actually a good or a bad number, experts suggest that an antral follicle count of at least 10 to 15 to be good. A low antral follicle count does not mean that you will not get pregnant. It just means that you have an urgency to get pregnant because you have a fewer number of eggs or you might need advanced fertility treatments. Now, Assessing your AFC can be particularly important if you are planning to undergo fertility treatments such as IVF. By knowing your antral follicle count, we can estimate how many eggs we can get during the IVF procedure. This means that if you have a higher antral follicle count and you have more number of eggs, then there is a higher chance of having good grade embryos with you. If you have a lower antral follicle count, it means you have fewer number of eggs and you might need more than one cycle and you might need to adjust your treatment plan accordingly. Now I know that a low antral follicle count can be stressful, but there are certain things which you can do to maintain this number. Having a balanced lifestyle, eating healthy food, taking your supplements like vitamin D on time and exercising regularly are effective ways. Different experimental treatments are being tested, which might help in the future. So this is the basics of antral follicle count. I hope you found this video informative and you have a clearer understanding of what your antral follicle count means for your fertility. If you have any questions or there are certain topics which you would like me to discuss, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching.